We're going to install a theme component. I call this a jump menu, or you may want to call it a lesson context menu. It gives you a list of the major sections inside your uh, lesson. Right at the top, uh, especially good if you have a very long lesson, and it just helps the user navigate to the, the section they want. And this does use JavaScript as well as CSS, so it's more of an advanced uh, theme component. So he, here's my new lesson. I'm going to move the scripts, uh, the code, from that orange lesson to my green one. So if you've downloaded uh, my sample lesson, you'll see inside Squirm Content, there's an extra folder called theme that's where I put everything and I just copied and pasted it into my new folder that's step one very easy and then step two we need to add links to those files inside our index.html file and inside index I usually put it just right above where it says resize hack and below where it's including some other uh, files in the course then hit save cross your fingers and then we have our uh, jump menu is working um and it uh always double check go back to the home or the cover page and make sure everything still works after clicking around a little bit uh, mobile looks looks pretty good i don't think i did anything to make it responsive it was just naturally responsive so that's all you do, really two steps to installing this theme component, because it does use JavaScript, including the jQuery library. And if we look at the code in Rise, it's using the H2. So it, if you're adding a, uh, a section in Rise, it's only going to use the paragraph with heading element. And it's kind of weird, the... I'm looking at the code. There's an H2 with a paragraph inside it. Um, and then a strong tag inside of that. It kind of odd HTML um, that Rides uses. So if you're learning HTML and CSS, Rise has some kind of odd HTML. I get into that in my in my course. Uh, but probably don't want to use all the HTML in Rise as kind of a guide for your own HTML, just an FYI. And by the way, this was the uh, the original prompt. I used ChatGPT to help me out with the JavaScript. And it, it came pretty close. I had to do uh, a couple extra things uh, to get the menu to work, especially because we cannot use simple HTML anchor links in Rise. We have to use JavaScript just to link down to a section of a page. Um, and so if you want to make new sections, use text, heading with, or paragraph with heading. That's what the script is going to hook onto and add it in the jump menu. If you don't want a certain section, I would just use the, the paragraph with subheading and it's going to ignore those. So that's about it. Um, if if you're enrolling in my course, this uh, these files are included, um, and that's the uh, best way to install the jump menu in your exported Rise course.